Have you ever thought I can't understand the stock market or investing isn't for me? Maybe you even believe that the stock market is just a myth. The truth is, you feel this way just because you don't understand how the stock market works. It's like trying to cook without knowing how to. It seems impossible, right? That's why we are here today to talk about the stock market and help you learn more about it. We will start by defining what the stock market is, exploring the key components and participants. And just don't leave this video in middle. Stay tuned until the end because we will cover the most important chapter of this video, how to start investing in stock market. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to come across more updates like this. Let us begin by understanding what exactly stocks are. But before we look into a bookish definition, let us try to understand with simple example. Imagine you just opened a coffee shop and you have a fantastic location, a great menu and a passion for coffee. But to run and grow your business, you need money. You need funds to buy coffee beans, hire some staff, market your shop and maybe even expand to a second location in future. So the question is, how do you get the money? One option is to sell shares of your company to investors. This is where the concept of stock market comes into play. Stocks are nothing but a small piece of ownership in a company. What does this mean? This means when you buy a stock, you are purchasing a share of that company. Imagine you have just discovered a new bakery in your neighborhood. The owner tells you that they are offering a unique opportunity. You can actually own a part of the bakery. They have divided the ownership into 1000 pieces or shares. You decided to buy 100 of these shares, which means you now own 10% of the bakery. This means you get to share in bakery's success and as it grows, so does the value of your shares. Now imagine that you don't want to hold on to your shares forever. Maybe you want to sell them to someone else who believes the bakery will continue to grow. This is where the stock exchange come into play. Think of a stock exchange as a busy marketplace where buyers and sellers need to trade this pieces of ownership or shares. In India, the National Stock Exchange NSE and Bombay Stock Exchange BSE are bustling markets where these trades happen every day. These platforms make it easy for you to buy and sell your shares, just like trading at a marketplace, but on a much larger scale, well, millions of shares in play. Now, let us discuss one of the fantastic aspects of a stock market, that is how does the stock market work. It is all about supply and demand. If more people want to buy a stock, then sell it, the price will go up. Conversely, if more people want to sell a stock, then buy it, the price will go down. Of course, there are several factors that can influence the fluctuation. Number one, company's performance. If a company reports strong earnings or launches a successful product, its stock price may rise. Next, market trends, economic condition, interest rate, and overall market sentiment can affect stock prices. For instance, during a booming economy, stock prices may rise as consumers spend more. News and events, announcements, scandals, or change in leadership can lead to price changes. For example, if company faces a lawsuit, its stock price might drop as investors become concerned about potential losses. Let me tell you guys, this fluctuation can be negative. What it means is that investing in a stock market carries a risk as well. This risk can be market risk, company risk, or liquidity risk. So you need to be careful while investing in any company. Now, it is very important to know about stock market indexes, which include Sensex and Nifty. Stock market indexes are important tools for tracking the performance of group of stocks, which provides insight into the overall health of the market. In India, there are two most prominent indexes that are Sensex and Nifty. Talking about Sensex, it tracks performance of 30 of the largest and most liquid companies listed on BSE. On the other hand, Nifty 50, which is managed by NSE, so basically it includes 50 large cap companies across different sectors, providing a broader representation of the Indian economy. Now the question arises: why companies sell stocks? Every company needs funds to operate and grow. So, company raises their funds for expansion, research or to pay off debt by issuing stocks and this process is known as Initial Public Offering IPO. So, when a company goes public and sells its shares, it opens the door for everyday investors like you and me to participate in its growth. 
This will not only help the company but also allows investor to potentially profit as the company grow. Now, let's talk about the most awaited topic of this video, which is how to invest in stock market. Trust me guys, investing in a stock market is easier than you might think. Still you don't believe it? No issues. Let's discuss a step by step guide to get started. The very first step is to educate yourself. So, before you start investing, take some time to learn about the stock market, different types of investment and how to analyze stocks. There are plenty of resources available online including articles, videos and courses. Then you need to choose a broker to buy and sell stocks. You will need to open and demit account with a broker firm. There are many options available including traditional brokers and online platform. Make sure to compare fees and services before choosing one. Most importantly, as a beginner, you must start with a small amount of money. This way, you can learn the ropes without risking too much. While investing in stock, research is very important. Look for the companies that you believe will perform well in future. Consider their financials, industry position and growth potential. Once you have done your research, you can place your order to buy shares of the stock you want. Monitor your investment, keep an eye on your stock and the overall market condition. Adjust your portfolio as necessary, but try not to react too emotionally to short-term fluctuations. And yes, always consider a long-term investment. The reason why I'm saying this is simple. The stock market can be volatile in a short term, but historically, it will provide a good returns for the long term. So that's it for this video. I hope now you guys have a clear understanding of stock market and how to invest. If you have any questions or doubts, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.